If you're anything like me, you've probably been jumping between AI tools and trying to find that one that actually works, right? I mean, I totally did that. But everything changed when I stopped chasing that one perfect AI tool and started using just a few the right way. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how these five AI tools connect all together to a system, and this workflow is going to save you hours of work each week. So most of this, you can use it for free, but I'll also mention what's worth upgrading. Okay, so let's now just get started with tool number one, perplexity. Most people just use it for quick answers, but its real power is in finding high quality sources that you can actually trust. To unlock that, you want to use search operators. And these are like special phrases that will help you filter results. So here are some search operators you can include. For example, after you have file type, or you can also filter by website or specific topics or words in the title. And here's a quick example. When researching fitness nutrition, I use this file type PDF, protein requirements after 2024 to find the latest research instead of outdated blog post. Then I simply added site examine.com protein myths to get evidence-based advice from a trusted source. And in just 10 minutes, I figured out my actual protein needs and saved money by skipping unnecessary supplements. And here's a pro tip, use spaces in perplexity to build your own little research hubs. It's super helpful for ongoing projects. Next up is Notebook LM, and this is a Google tool where you can upload all your sources, like your PDF, your documents, your websites, your YouTube videos, and it will only use your sources to build this very powerful database. Now you can interact with, you can ask it questions, and you can even turn this into a podcast style conversation between two hosts that discuss your content. And the best part for me is that you can actually join the conversation. So just click this join button and you can start asking questions. So it's kind of like a call in, you know, in these like podcast shows that you have a question and the host will actually answer them. It's super cool. So now whenever I need to understand something, I'll use perplexity to gather the best information and then I'll upload all the sources to Notebook LM and listen to the conversation while I'm doing something else, like if I'm doing dishes or if I'm taking a walk. And now you just turn hours of reading into 20 minutes of learning. So these two tools, perplexity and Notebook LM, together they form what I call my deep research workflow. So let's say I'm trying to find the best image generator for my projects. Instead of just doom scrolling Reddit threads or spending hours testing, I can use Perplexity to find user reviews and then I'll dump them into Notebook LM and ask the exact questions I need. In under one hour, I've got real answers. And you can use the same approach for learning new skills, researching competitors, or creating content where accuracy actually matters. And speaking of tools that make hard things easier, this video is brought to you by LTX Studio. LTX Studio is an all-in-one platform where you can generate AI images and videos, starting with just a text prompt. You can create trailers, commercials, explainer videos, 3D style kids content, or even short films. You can customize your characters, train them to stay consistent across different scenes, and guide the visual style to match the tone of your story. It also helps to build full storyboards, add motion, camera moves, voiceovers, and more, all within the same tool. It's honestly one of the most efficient ways I've found to bring a concept to life visually, whether you're prototyping an idea or building a finished piece. So try out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description if you're ready to build something truly next level. Now, let's move on to our next tool, our content creation tools. All right, let's take that research and turn it into actual content now. And this is where everyone runs to ChatGPT, and I totally get it, right? But before you skip this part and thinking, just not another ChatGPT tip, just hear me out for a second. So the secret in creating great content is connecting ChatGPT to the research tools we just covered. So instead of starting with blank prompts, I want you to take those verified sources from Perplexity and these insights from Notebook LM and feed them directly into ChatGPT. And then you can turn your trusted results into content you need. For example, you can say, turn these notes into a marketing strategy 
or maybe something like draft a five-step guide based on this data. And now you're not getting AI hallucinations or made-up facts. You're getting content grounded in real information that you actually vetted. And if you're on ChatGPT Plus, trust me, you want to use the project feature. So, for example, I've got one called Personal Nutrition that remembers my fitness goals, what I like to eat, and even my favorite recipes. So I fed that all this, right? So when I ask it for a new meal plan, it already knows the context. And what used to take like 30 minutes now just take 30 seconds. Next up, we have Anthropics Cloud. So if ChatGPT is great for organization and structure, Cloud is where your content starts sounding like you. So Cloud is really strong in making your writing feel human and natural. Let's say I've got a rough outline from ChatGPT. I drop it into Cloud and ask it to rewrite it in a friendly tone, or make it easier to understand for beginners. And it just gets the tone and context right. And here's what blew my mind: Cloud can turn spreadsheets into stunning charts inside the chat. You can upload a spreadsheet or just describe the data, and Cloud will instantly generate interactive visuals, such as bar charts, pie charts, even full infographics. And you can ask it to change the layout, tweak the color scheme, or simplify the design, and it will update it on the fly. So instead of spending hours building charts in Excel or dragging boxes around Canva, you just ask Claude, and it handles the formatting. So I've used it for dashboards, client reports, even landing page mockups. Now you can even connect Claude to Google Drive, so you can analyze documents directly, and you don't have to copy paste anything. Now let me show you one more workflow, and this is one of my favorites, and I call it the voice to content workflow. Ali Abdal also talks about this, and he even created an app called VoicePod specifically for it. But honestly, you don't need an app to make this work. So what I do when an idea pops into my head, or I just need to talk to myself to sort my thoughts, whether I'm just walking or cooking or doing something else, I would open a Google Doc、uh, on my phone, right? And then I would turn on voice typing. Then I just simply start talking. So you don't have to filter. You don't have to have the pressure to get it perfect. Now the stage, you just let the ideas flow. And later, I'll take that raw voice notes draft and run it through AI to organize it or to create content with it. It's how I turn unproductive moments into content time and turn casual thoughts into polished posts, scripts, or emails without even staring at a blank screen. Next up, let's talk about Canva because creating great-looking content shouldn't take all day, right? So with Canva's newest update in April, now you have Visual Suite 2.0, and I think this is one of the best features because now you can design everything in one file. So, for example, Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, LinkedIn carousels, or presentations, all in one place. You don't have to juggle a bunch of separate projects ever again. So here's a pro tip for you: you can combine Visual Suite 2.0 and whiteboard features. Now let me explain. You can start with a whiteboard to drop in your ideas, your notes, and images. Then build out all your platform-specific designs right inside the same file. It keeps everything on brand, your workflow really clean, and super efficient. Now let me show you how to take this even further with Canva Sheets and Bulk Create. And this is super useful if you want to create LinkedIn carousels or Instagram posts or any kind of social media content in bulk really fast. So you start by opening Canva Sheets and using a prompt to generate your data. For a LinkedIn carousel, for example, you might have five to six columns for the slide text and one for your call to action. So here's my prompt, and you will generate something like this. Then you want to design one template. Just one single template, and you design this like you normally would. Now comes the magic part. You go to Bow Create feature in App, and note that this is a pro feature. And then you link each part of your template to your columns in your sheets. For example, you have your headline to headline, your description to your description, your text to your text, etc. And then you hit Generate, and in one click. Canva automatically fill out every slide using your sheet data. You go from one template to an entire carousel, 
fully formatted and ready to post. Well, maybe you have to tweak a little bit, but the heavy lifting is now done. You just need to ensure it looks good and our entire month of social media content is done. And it looks clean and consistent and professional every single time. Now, I know I mentioned some paid features and you might be wondering which ones are actually worth paying for, right? So you don't need to pay for everything right away, but a few upgrades are totally worth it depending on your workflow. So for example, if you do a lot of data heavy work, Cloud Pro is amazing for charts and visuals. And if you work with docs and want memory, then ChatGPT Plus and its project feature will save you hours. And for content across platforms, you have Canva Pro's resize and bow create tools. And in my opinion, these are 100% worth it. So you just have to figure out where you get stuck and upgrade just that part. Okay, before we wrap up, I just want to mention two quick bonus tools that level up this whole system. So the first one is Fireflies, and you can record and transcribe your meetings. Then you can drop that transcript into ChatGPT and pull out some insights and action items instantly. And then we have Testcade, and this combines project planning with AI. So I use it to go from brainstorm to outline to test just in one place without switching tabs. So you can try this if you think they fit what you're looking for, and I'll leave links down below in the description as well. All right, just a quick recap before you go. So this workflow is so powerful because of how they connect. We can use perplexity to find all the info, then notebook LM to understand it. And then we can use ChatGPT to organize and give it a structure. And we use Claude to write human-like content. And at the end, use Canva to bring it to life visually. Together, this system saves me tens of hours each week, and it makes the creative process feel less overwhelming. If you found value in this video, see that like button, just smash it right now, and also hit that subscribe button. You can also comment down below to let me know which workflow would save you the most time right now. And if you want to see how I use LTA Studio to create cinematic trailers within just a few hours, you can see that right here. Okay, with that said, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.